How's it going everyone? Jake Adams here and for this video I kind of want to take a slight return to my Australian aquarium touring adventures. So this was the first time that I made it to Australia and the reason I was able to get there is I was actually invited by Illu Magic of Taiwan and their distributor Dalua Australia to come and check out the Australian reef scene and the lights that have been really, really successful um, over a variety of different reefers tanks um, in that country. Illu Magic is a Taiwanese company that has been making LED aquarium lights about as long as all the major players in the aquarium hobby. Being separate from China, America, and Europe, Illu Magic has really been able to develop their aquarium lights with minimal outside influence. So over the years, this has resulted in a unique design of their lights, which is inherently their own. If you've never heard of Illu Magic, or it sounds only vaguely familiar, that's because this company's market penetration has been most successful in Asia and especially Australia. This is where fixtures like the Blaze, Blaze X, and the New Style have become some of the most popular in the land down under. Great performance, durability, and especially strong product support from Illu Magic's distributor, Dalu Australia, has resulted in many successful reef tanks on the island continent. I am often approached by companies wishing to send me products to test out. Oftentimes, all it takes is a few weeks of use over one of my own reef tanks to get a reasonable review of an aquarium light. In this case, it was mutually decided that it would be more effective to actually come to Australia and see examples of Illu Magic's various lights over many different reef tanks in many settings and to really experience what these lights are capable of in a range of uses. I knew that the Illumagic LED lights would be good enough to share with my readers and now my viewers. So my primary motivation may have been to finally get to Australia and check out the Aussie reef scene, which totally blew me away. Aussie reefers are the best. I really, truly mean that. But in visiting so many stores, display tanks, and a few commercial facilities using Illumagic's lights, I came away convinced that Illumagic's current product line places them shoulder to shoulder with the best offerings from the likes of Maxspect, Castle, Ecotech Marine, and Aqualumination. Illumagic's LED lights have always been made of a solid aluminum housing with substantial heat sinks, resulting in lights that are either entirely passively cooled or have an accessory fans for when the lights are operated at full intensity or in very warm climates. Furthermore, Illumagic was one of the first companies to recognize the importance of warm and neutral white LEDs for balancing out the icy blue look that can sometimes come from using so many blue diodes and for increasing color rendition in the aquarium. The other hallmark of Illumagic's engineering has been a deep commitment to replaceable LED modules. Not all of their fixtures have had replaceable LEDs, but most of their lights have LEDs that are user serviceable, making it easy to transform a freshwater light into a saltwater one or vice versa, as well as to upgrade a perfectly good light to the latest and greatest lighting technology. The current Illumagic LED lineup includes the Combo Ray, the Blaze X, the Blaze Mini, and the Style. However, the older Blaze line is still alive and well with proven performance in the harshest environment, and we'll come back to this light in just a little bit. What is really intriguing about these three different aquarium light platforms is they all use the same cluster of LEDs, the design of which is actually pretty unique in the aquarium hobby. Many of the major LED light makers have settled on grouping their LEDs into clusters of discrete LEDs, each with their own individual lens or reflector, coupled with a slightly diffused surface to help with color blending. On the other end of the spectrum, multi-chip LEDs are grouped on the same surface with a common reflector, lens, or both, which leads to excellent color mixing, a strong point source lighting effect, and resulting shimmer lines. Illumagic's LED cluster falls evenly between these two paradigms. Their diodes are placed on the same base, closely spaced, but still separate dies. You can use these clusters as is with a 120 degree beam angle or in conjunction with a cluster lens, which narrows the beam angle to 75 degrees. Whichever path you choose, the Illumagic grouping of LEDs is a perfect intermediate between the clusters that we see in radions, razors, and hydras, and the multi-chips of Kessels and other multi-chip LEDs. The result is a very effective color mixing, shimmer lines that are noticeable but not overpowering, and a longer fixture lifespan since the clusters are easily user replaceable. One thing that impressed me about the Illumagic Reef Color Cluster is that for a reef tank, it is nearly perfect. 
virtually every LED light cluster available today includes some color ratios that I would personally change the color and or the placement for a few of those diodes, but obviously this is a personal preference and highly subjective. However, the Illumagic LED cluster is one of the best looking at full intensity, so there's no wasted power capacity from having some of the channels turned down to achieve that perfect look. Furthermore, there's only three channels of color control to adjust. There's a white channel with a mix of cool white and warm white LEDs, a blue channel with an even mix of blue and deep blue, and an ultraviolet channel with two shades of ultraviolet LEDs. On paper, having only three channels seems like a drawback, but in practice, it just makes it that much easier, especially for new users, to quickly tune the light to their desired spectrum. This brings me to one of the most important features of any controllable LED light, and that is the actual control. Any higher-end LED light needs to have great access to the light's features, and in this day and age, that means wireless control using a smartphone. Illumagic's Blaze lights feature Bluetooth, while the Style has Wi-Fi connectivity, and they both work incredibly well. Trust me, I've met reps that say, yeah, yeah, it works really, really good, but in this case, it worked incredibly well. The app itself might seem a little bit sparse, but again, this is a double-edged sword because it makes it that much easier to find the settings that users want to adjust and program, but most importantly, the light connects very quickly and reliably, both with Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. I find that having this common cluster between the three different aquarium lights very attractive because the choice to be made between the Blaze X, the Blaze Mini, and the Style is simply one of choosing the best coverage for your aquarium. So if you need a powerful strip light with an even broad spread, use the Blaze X. If you've got a nano tank, then the Blaze Mini is a no-brainer. If you want more overlap of your LED clusters, especially in an SPS tank, then the Style LED is the one for you. On my tour of Eastern Australia, I got to see all these light fixtures in use over a wide variety of tanks. Stores use them to light up their corals for sale. They're used on display reef tanks as well as nano, fresh, and saltwater tanks. All of the shops that I spoke with had nothing but praise for the Illumagic lights, with a special em emphasis on how durable they have been and their success their customers have experienced using Illumagic's various models. Uh, yeah, so it's uh, really easy to program. We don't have to go into too much uh, detail with programming we can just open up on our phones and basically put the lights how we want and set it as the time point uh, the other thing is that it's got really good coverage from left to right uh, we don't end up with any shadowing um, and yeah basically if we need a bit more spread we can take the lens covers off and get a bit more spread on each individual cluster how are you running it was really nice to see uh, aquarium lights used in recreational settings, in retail stores, but one of the most impressive things that I got to see was the massive deployment of Blaze S LED lights at Cannes Marine. These fixtures have been used at Australia's biggest livestock exporter for over five years in an environment that has exposed them to extremes of heat, temperature, and a very generous dose of salt spray. Despite this very harsh treatment, when we opened up one of the Blaze fixtures to inspect their condition, the inside of the fixtures looked virtually brand new. But most importantly, the thoughtful color spectrum with balanced whites, blues, and accessory colors really brought out the colors of the corals at Cannes Marine. This is perhaps one of the largest and longest running installations of so many LED lights in a commercial reef aquarium setting that I'm aware of, and only a small number of fans have had to replace from nearly a hundred lights that are in use there. I don't remember exactly how many lights it was, but it was definitely enough to light up a decent sized fish store. I returned from my Australian aquarium adventure with a greater understanding of this isolated reefing scene. A huge respect for the very excited Australian reefers and a Blaze Mini to use myself. As I expected, the Blaze Mini has performed excellently on my own nano tank with quiet performance, great color rendition, uninterrupted operation, and it looks pretty and discreet hanging over the simple nano reef from steel cables. The only minor quip I can say about the Blaze Mini is that I need to cycle the power to the unit to let the app scan for the Bluetooth connection, but this works immediately every time. Australia is lucky to have ready access to the Illumagic line of LED lights, and it's only a matter of time until the rest of the world starts to recognize the great balance of value and performance of the Blaze and Style LEDs. 
You may have noticed that uh, this whole narration has been scripted because I had a lot I wanted to say and I wanted to get it out right and it has been thinking about this pretty much all summer. But this is the point where I kind of break away. Um, I guess start freestyle and, and just want to say since a sincere thank you um, to David at Illu Magic, to Anthony Blinoff, Blenny, Blenny, um, at Dalua, Australia for having me out. Um, it's because of them that I was able to come to Australia and I did a little bit for Illu Magic, but I feel like I did a lot for the reefers both in Australia and bringing attention to what they do and all the cool ways that they uh, make the most of the limited coral catalog because they can only keep Australian corals. So it's because of them that I was able to bring you so many videos of so many stores, so much good stuff. I hope you enjoyed those Australian videos. I hope you like this meta review and personal review of Illumagic's LED lights. Um, if you like this, definitely hit that thumbs up button. Um, if you have any questions about the light, go ahead and post them in the comments. I'll make sure to get Anthony or David um, to answer any of these questions as quickly as possible. Uh, we got MACTA coming up here in a few days, so definitely subscribe. There's gonna be a ton of videos coming out. Thank you to everyone who supported me during the summer when it was slow and most of us were outside, not playing with our tanks, not spending time online. But now it's time to crank and a shout out to everybody who's asking for the video of Sanjay's tank that's coming very soon. So uh, thanks again for tuning in and uh, don't go anywhere because I got a lot more coming down the pipe.